to this location staff. We're in this together.
All right. This is the last one. Marshall's brilliant plan was to blow up the nail. <laughs> and she thought I wasn't ready.
should be better now, not worse. Emily will know. I hope. What did you do? What is causing these tremors? I thought you could tell me. I completed the four rituals just like the board told me to. The astral bleed should have stopped. Look, it has stopped. The nail is repaired. But we have a new problem. My analysis of the nail indicates that it is literally a piece of the astral plane. Or possibly a vessel containing the astral plane. Or both. Either way, right now both dimensions are vibrating at completely incompatible frequencies. The spatial friction they are generating is incalculable. It's going to destroy both planes. I messed this all up. Maybe Marshall was right to destroy the nail. I should have left it in pieces. No, then the astral plane would still be leaking in. Sometimes there's no right answer, Jesse. We need more information. No. I need to fix this. Now. I'll just... I'll figure something out. No, we should really make a plan. The tremors are originating from directly below us, but we don't know what... Perfect. I'll head down and take care of whatever's going on. Just do what you can from here. Jesse, you can't just... I have to, Emily. I'm the director. This is on me. I told you we were gonna die down here! Bureau researchers, do not panic, Dr. Saba. Keep monitoring those tremors and get me some actionable data. Jesse, you're back. So did you find anything noteworthy? The original Bureau expedition down here left so much interesting stuff behind. Like their ID cards. I picked up a weird one. It's pretty old. Oh wow, look at that. Yeah, I found a few ID cards myself. Or, more accurately, the rangers found them for me. Are you starting a collection? I'm going for the whole set. I kid, of course. But I suppose they are sort of like baseball cards, except for bureau stuff from the 60s. Hey, the one you found is different than mine. 
It looks like it's a higher clearance level. A rare one, then. Want to keep it, Emily? <laughs> yeah, I absolutely do. But I think you should hang on to it for now. High clearance access might come in handy. Sounds like you have something in mind. Guilty. See, I've been going through Dr. Ash's notes, or the ones I can find, anyway. Like Darling, he seemed to enjoy hiding his most relevant research. From what I gather, there is another floor beneath the warehouse with a special lab that requires five high-level staff members just to access. Here, take this. It's an old skeleton key. Something else the rangers found. I give them five bucks for every useful trinket they bring me. I'm gonna assume this key is my ticket to that lower floor. And that super secret lab you mentioned. Bingo bango, as Dr. Darling used to say. Well, keep your eyes peeled for more ID cards around the warehouse. If Ash's notes are reliable, and I'm sure they are, then five is the magic number. If you're not going to listen to me, then you better go figure out how to stop this. There's no telling what could happen if the vibrations escalate. Any progress with the nail? Of course. I've been busy with surface analysis. Its composition is remarkably similar to that of material found in the astral plane, but it alters itself between my observations. It's almost as if it doesn't like being examined. So the nail is from the astral plane? Not necessarily. See, if we assume that, we're suddenly facing a lot of new questions. How did something so large get out of the astral plane? How did it get inside the oldest house? Did a threshold bring it in? Did people? Maybe through the motel. Maybe it was always here. Hmm. Doubtful. Have you spent any time looking into the crystals growing around here? As if I could resist. The biggest question is where it comes from. A threshold? Or is it native to the Foundation? But if so, why doesn't it grow in the rest of the oldest house? The fact that they return to an earlier state when damaged is severely inconsistent with our reality's adherence to linear time. So either they're A, partially conscious, or B, organic elements that are foreign to and yet influenced by our dimension. The jury's still out. Have you learned anything about the crystals? I have a power that lets me stretch them. Huh. Yep. <laughs> Any idea what Marshall would be doing down here? That information is on a need-to-know basis, Faden. <laughs> Sorry, I can resist. But honestly, I never had much interaction with Marshall. She only came to me when she was looking for Darling. But this is Helen Marshall we're talking about, the woman who single-handedly dealt with the Bergen Peak AWE. If she's down here, it's because she needs to be. Well, clearly she couldn't handle this one on her own. I'll see you later, Emily. Good luck. Take notes.
this, Director. I hope I know what I'm doing. <sighs> that was just the top of the nail? How much deeper does the foundation go? Entry day plus 118. I have changed. Though it's hard to know how or why. I no longer need tools to detect the house's veins, to hear it breathe. I can feel its blood churning beneath my bare feet. I have added my own illustrations to the walls, trying to solve some mystery that the oldest house whispers to me. I have to avoid the it as I do so. They haunt me. I don't blame them. They're just following the pillar's orders. Even poor Adam doesn't seem to recognize me anymore. I've spent a long time contemplating the etchings of the tree and its roots. Did you know this city used to be a forest? I wonder if our oldest house wore a different face back then. Or if it was always here. A 21st century office building since time immemorial. In a place know the future. Can it change its skin? Can it wander? I always thought the esoteric world was my father's, not mine. But here, in this sacred place, I finally understand his devotion, not his all. like they're trying to stop me. to get out after the detonation, but the astral spike came out of nowhere. I escaped, but my HRA was damaged. I'd bet a year's salary the board sent it. We never did see eye to eye. They have too much control over Trench, the Bureau, the House. They make themselves part of every important process. Nothing a little C4 can't fix. Two birds, one bomb. Christ, what a mess. But I stopped the hiss. I did it. If Faden did her part, then the Bureau is safe. Until the next thing. Jesse has good reason to hate the Bureau. But that could be what we need right now. She won't follow the same path. Won't fall into the same traps. She'll lead her way. So, Director Faden... Here's my last lesson. You can't save everybody. HRA was damaged. The board said it. When Marshall blew up the nail, the board attacked him. I don't fucking know.
This is Director Faded. I require backup at this location. Nice to see a director out Nobody in the field. Nobody else hears the house. Their ears are too full of lies. We were shown the way inside so we could help. But all we've done is fall victim to the same parasite. I should have seen the web earlier. The strands between Northmore, the pillar, the gun, the id. What hope did he have? Thrown into this conflict beyond our comprehension. I decided to rejoin the Bureau in the upper levels to end my long absence spent in the Foundation. Northmore will be angry at me for disobeying him. That's just his way. But I don't care. I need to remain in the oldest house to help however I can. I doubt I can steer the Bureau back on the right course, but I have to try. How did I go so long without a purpose? Without devotion, I can hardly remember how it felt. I realize how grateful I am to Father for setting me on this path. I wish I could tell him that.